afternoon, happy Wednesday, happy hump day. We are halfway through the week, um, over halfway through the week, which is very exciting. Um, how are you all? How are you all doing? What have you been up to? Um, the first thing that I need to tell you today is that it might appear a little bit darker in this room um, or darker than usual in this room because I've shut the uh, blind that I normally keep open because it was so warm today um, that I've opened all the windows and shut all the blinds to try and keep the sun out from uh, from making this room too hot because um, so it was very warm, it was very, very warm. Um, so yes, yeah, so it might appear slightly darker uh, today, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, so the second thing that I need to tell you guys is next week we are going to be doing soft chalks. Um, so we're going to be working with some lovely, lovely soft chalks. Uh, I enjoyed the oil pastels so much that, um, I'm just refresh my Facebook page here, that uh, I thought we'd do some soft chalks next week. So we're going to have some gorgeous, uh, gorgeous images that we're going to work on. It'll be really lovely. So if you need to order soft, uh, soft chalks, or soft pastels, they're sometimes called, um, you can get them from Artway. I know they do an, an amazingly nice set. Um, I've actually got one from Artway. Um, but you can get them from, from lots of other places that are doing uh, online sales and stuff now as well. Make sure that you get a fair amount of colours um, to be able to play with though, because they're really lovely. Um, and actually, weirdly enough, I, I shared a post earlier, so further down our Facebook page will be a post about Artway's um, soft pastels, because they actually posted about them today. Um, I think they're, they're reading my mind, weirdly. This is just really strange. Um, who have we got? Who have we got? Hi, Rosie. Hi, Cheryl. Who else have we got? Ah, oh, Imogen and Esme having a spa day. Lovely. Very nice day for it. Um, hi Sue, been for a walk this morning, excellent. Hi Joe, nice to see you. Hi Dad, fantastic. We're all here, you're all joining. Um, cool, cool stuff. Um, so, there we go. Oh, Charlotte's just arriving, excellent. Right, let's put you on here, hopefully without cutting you off this time. I don't know what I was doing yesterday, some weird technical faults. There we go. Hopefully I can see you all, you can all see me. Um, oh, what paper do we need? Oh, for the for the soft pastels, um, just any kind of thick paper. The thicker the better, um, but it, it doesn't have to be anything specific. I might do one or two that are on black paper, like we did with the oil pastels. So if you've got black paper or if you can get black paper, great. If you don't have it, you can still join in with, with uh, normal white paper. That's absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, the, the thicker the paper, the better, really, for, for chalks and oil pastels. But yeah, so we're going to do uh, do some soft chalks next week, which will be great fun. Uh, who else have we got? Oh, thank you. Joe said, lovely earrings. Thank you very much. I'm actually, do you know, I have worn a different pair of earrings every day that we've done this. I've never worn the same pair twice. And I'm nearly through my earring collection. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> so I have, what we were week 10, aren't we? So by the end of this week, I would have worn 50 pairs of earrings. I did not realise I had that many. Did not have a clue. Um, who else have we got? Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Amy. Nice of you to join us. Um, yeah, I didn't have a clue I had that many earrings. That was very bizarre. Um, so, so what are we doing today? We are going to be painting a bunny rabbit today <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing um but we're going to be painting the bunny rabbit from behind so all you'll see is his little fluffy tail and a little kind of silhouette of him is what we're going to do and we're going to paint him in uh in three sections so um it'll look it'll look really good and we're going to keep it nice and kind of soft um and go really really gentle with the color as well so we're not not doing big and bold today we're going softer a bit more muted today uh what else do i need to tell you guys what else have i been up to um last night and this morning i was supporting some uh, nurses so we were doing support sessions for them um using a bit of creativity but also using um the time for them to just reflect because i think it's been really really stressful 
um, understandably, for them at the moment. Um, and I've also been doing some story writing. So I am going to post, because I think I said a couple of weeks ago that I was going to do this, and I never actually did. So I'm going to post a, uh, a link to something called The Imaginarium, which is about story writing. Um, and it can be as short as you like. It really doesn't have to be that long at all. Um, and for both adults and children, it's for everyone, where you find an object in your home and you'd write a story about it. Now, this could be uh, a, a kind of old heirloom that you've got that actually does have some amazing stories behind it. So it could be factual um, or it could be uh, a made up story, completely made up about this object, about who owned it and what it did in the story um, or where it was in the story. Um, so, and then you submit them online uh, and we read through them and we put them all up so you can read everyone else's as well. Um, so I must put that link below, I will do that. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking and, uh, and we'll crack on with some watercolour painting, which would be great. So hopefully you guys have all got your watercolour paper, um, paints and a water jar. So I'm gonna drop you down so that hopefully, and I'm working portrait today for our bunny rabbit, but hopefully you can see everything that I've got here. Um, so, bunny rabbit, we're going to do a slightly squashed circle, basically. So it's just going to be almost as if you've got a, a perfectly round circle and it's just gone like that on the page. That's what we're going to do for the bottom half of our rabbit. Um, and then we're going to leave a little gap, basically, in the middle for his tail. Now, I'm using a fairly big brush because I'm going to do him fairly big on this one. Um, so let's just, if I move that a bit closer, hopefully you guys can see. So I'm going to use, you could use a grey for a bunny rabbit, you could have a pink bunny rabbit if you wanted. Um, I'm going to use a bit of, uh, a bit of brown here, so a bit of a mixture of our browns. Now I'm going to go fairly wet, because again, we're going to go quite light with our colours today, we're not going to do big and bold. So, um, I'm just going to get that outline first. Now, as we do the outline, we want it quite soft and quite delicate. So hopefully you can see that I'm literally just almost flicking the brush a little bit and then painting it in while it's still wet so we don't get any harsh lines. So let me hold that up so that you can see the edge. So I'm keeping it quite rough. It's not a smooth edge at all because we want fluffy bunnies. Nice and fluffy bunnies. Um, so I'm going to bring him down to about here. And I might go a bit further up with this one actually. And then I'm just going to, doesn't have to be particularly even at the top either. And then the bottom, because he is sitting on a kind of flat surface, or we've got him sitting on a flat surface, the bottom will be fairly straight. So that's pretty much the only kind of really straight, straight line that we're going to do um, in here. So we're just going to keep a fairly straight line. And then again, a nice kind of rough edge down this side as well with our fluffy bunnies. So can you see what I mean? That he's kind of like a circle that's that's deflated. It's sort of squashed itself. And then we're just going to use the water to paint it in. Now, what we want to do is keep this fairly wet. So quite a lot of water, but making sure you keep that gap in the middle, just down here for his little fluffy tail. So as I start filling this in with some pigment, you can you'll be able to see where I'm uh, where I've kept that gap. Because don't forget the pigment will only go where the water goes. So I'm going to start just bringing in a little bit of colour here. A little bit more. So hopefully you can start to see that circle arriving. So. By doing this, you can control the colour a lot more by putting the water on and then adding the pigment into it. You can really control where that colour is going. Uh, 
and again we don't want it particularly even so you can really again have kind of fun with those colors and if you wanted to so I've got a more kind of ready brown here um, so I'm going to add that in as well because very rarely when you look at animals is their fur just one color of brown or one color of gray or or pink if you're doing pink fluffy bunnies um very rarely are they just one color so um so i've added a little bit of our, our redder brown in there i'm just going to get rid of those harder edges that i've got there um there we go add in a little bit of him there um and then i might actually add some uh some blue in which might sound like a bit of an odd thing to do but um, you know me, I can't go too subtle on colours. I have to, I have to add some just slightly different colours there. So mixed with the brown, you get a kind of greyish tinge there as well, which I quite like. So I'm kind of because I'm working quite quickly and working with a fair amount of water before it dries. You can see that I'm almost kind of blending the colours on the page rather than blending it in a palette and then added it on. Um, which I quite like working that way. I quite like that about watercolours. Right, so we're ready to add the next bit on, which is kind of its, its top half and its sort of its shoulders um, and its head. Uh, so we're not going to quite do the ears yet, but we're just going to do its shoulders and its head. Um, <laughs> show your bunny's blue. Excellent. Excellent. So there might be a couple of browns that you can maybe add in to get those kind of different colours or shades with the blue. Um, that would look really, really lovely. Or some grey. Uh, yeah, a nice grey with, with the blue would be lovely. Um, anyway, I digress. Um, I just want to work on this tail, actually, before I, before I carry on any further. So I'm going to get some of that brown again. Because he doesn't look particularly fluffy at the moment. So I'm just going to bring in some lines into our tail so that it's not a perfect circle. Let me lift that up so that you can see what I'm going on about. So I've just brought some lines into that tail just so that it does, we don't have to have that perfect perfect circle. Like, uh, like we did yesterday with the moon, we had to have kind of a fairly solid perfect circle. We don't have to have that with this one. Um, oh, excellent. Charlotte's doing a pink bunny. I can't wait to see photos of these. It's going to be awesome. Um, so our head and shoulders. So our head and shoulders is kind of going to be a, a nice big circle for the head and then a little, uh, almost like a semicircle for the top of the body. So again, we want to keep it fairly fluffy. I've used quite a lot of pigment there. There we go. So fairly fluffy. And we bring it in and then we're going to go out again with our head oh lost the point of my brush there we go again we keep it nice and fluffy nice kind of raggedy edges and then just use the water to soften the edge inside okay and then again on the other side similar kind of shape so we're gonna make it nice and raggedy nice and fluffy coming down to his bottom and then straight up to the top again and coming in there we go so it's quite a nice shape, it's kind of a, a bit of a figure of eight on the top there. Hopefully you guys can see that. And so again, all I'm going to do is add in just a little bit of water and start adding in some of the pigment and some of our colour. Now some of this will go over the top of our bottom, but most of it, just to show a bit of kind of fur going over the top, but most of it will be just sat on top of the bottom because we want his bottom to kind of be sticking out a little bit. Um, his lovely fairy bottom. 
How are you guys all doing? Are you all right? You've all gone quiet, so I'm assuming you're just concentrating. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go up as far as there for now so we can add in the... Uh... Oh, a little bit too much pigment there. Um, so that we can add in the ears on top of there as well. So I'm just adding some more pigment on this side. And then I'll add in again my kind of ready, ready sort of brown. Just to give it a little bit of a difference. Um, and some of my blue in there as well. There we go. Harsher blue there, there we go. I could fiddle with this for hours. This is what I like about watercolors as well, is that I can really sit and play with them. So, there we go. So I've just added in those same colors again on the top there. So our ears, again, we're just gonna use the water um, to really shape them um, and just a tiny bit of pigment. So the ears, I always think, make the bunny. So I'm gonna have quite nice pointed ears at the top. And I'm doing them quite smooth actually. I should probably make them a little bit more rough. And I'm just gonna use the water to bring it down to the bottom. So there's my one ear. I am going to, and it's got a nice point on the top. I am gonna make him just a little bit rougher around the edges of the ear. Just make them a little bit more furry. and then just bring that pigment. Into the bottom there, so that it kind of blends with his head. So there we go. I might add some blue into there as well, actually. Again, just to kind of make sure that it, it's not all flat and 2D. You want to get some different shades in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna add on our other ear bring that in there and our other ear comes up here and again I'm going to do a nice little point add some pigment in that so that you guys can see what I'm doing um Charlotte's asked why is the head eight shaped figure of eight shapes because it's the head and the shoulders so it's kind of you've got his nice fluffy bottom um, next to you, or in front of you, shall I say, next to you, what am I talking about? Um, he's a nice fluffy, fluffy bottom uh, in front of you, because that's kind of the first thing you see if he's got his back to you, that's the thing that's closest to you. And then you've got his shoulders, and then his head, it was all kind of one, so that's kind of like the rest of his body. Um, so that's why we make it a figure of eight shaped. Otherwise you'd, um, let me bring that ear around. Otherwise you'd end up with uh, a very, very big bottom and a little head plonked on top. So uh, so it's nice to have his, uh, his shoulders in there as well. I'm actually gonna make that ear just a little bit taller. There we go. So you can see that I've just put in, and I'm gonna add some water onto that as well. Um, but I have just put in a little bit of tuft of hair in between, a little bit of tuft of fur in between his ears there as well. Um, and again, I'm just going to use the water from the ears to just blend. I'm going to add some of that blue in there as well. Bring that right to the edge. There we go. How is that? How are you guys doing? So that is a little fluffy bunny. Now what's he missing? He is missing, let's just blend that bit in a little bit more. He is missing his whiskers, his little twitchy nose. Um, 
Cheryl's saying you accidentally missed the shoulders. Does that mean have you got a very, very big bottom on your bunny? I like that. <laughs> I do like that. So I'm going to use uh, just again a watered down version of that brown to just get in our whiskers and I'm just going to do them quite randomly so they're not going to join the head. They're going to be sat a little bit, a little bit apart from the head. Um, oh, thanks, Helen. <laughs> Saying that it looks good. Uh, Charlotte, your bunny's pudgy with a smallish head. Yours has got a very big bottom as well. <laughs> and Amy's. We're going to have a series of, of rabbits with big bottoms. I'm liking this. I am liking this. Um, so if you look at it, actually, even in, even in mine, the bottom is a about half of the bunny it's about half of it so I'm loving the fact that I'm gonna get lots of lots of rabbits with the with big bottoms I like this <laughs> so I'm just adding in so I've just done four on one side so can you see and they've, they're very light actually there we go hopefully you can see that um, so they're very light I've not added much pigment into them now you can add more pigment if you want to or maybe some of the slightly different colour. So um, I might add some of the redder brown just into the tip of that. So while they're still wet, um, you can add in just a slightly different colour into them as well. But you have to use the very, very uh, tip of the brush, the very, very point of it um, to get that going. <laughs> I love the fact everyone's going to have big bottom bunnies. Um, and then the other side, I'm just going to do some, but again, try not to make them equal. Try not to make the uh, the whiskers equal. So they do need to, I'm actually good, because I'm right-handed, I'm going to turn my bunny around so that I can... Get these ones in. Otherwise I'll end up smudging it with my arm, because I know what I'm like. I'm a smudger. There we go. <laughs> Charlotte's got a very, very, very big bottom bunny. It will be. There we go. So I'm just, again, just going to drop some of that other colour into there. Try and make them slightly different from each other. Um, maybe some of that blue as well. And again, I'm going to try and keep it quite light, so I'm going to take some of that pigment out. Um, which is a really good tip, actually. If it's quite, still quite wet and you don't want that much pigment in, you can actually use your brush. If it's fairly dry and you've kind of got rid of quite a lot of the water on it, you can use your brush to just go along the same line, just the very tip of it. And it takes, it absorbs the water from it and therefore some of the pigment as well. So if you don't want that much on there, you don't want it that dark you can use uh, use your brush to do that as well. Um, especially for finer lines like that, because if I put a piece of kitchen towel onto that, it would just go like that and splatter everywhere. So, there you have it. One finished bunny, complete with whiskers and a very fluffy tail. So hopefully you guys have all enjoyed that and you're carrying on with your own bunnies. Um, the other thing that you can do, if you have kind of a, a bit more of a play around with it or you do some more bunnies, um, the other thing you can do as well is not just leave a gap for the fluffy tail, but leave a couple of gaps here and there in the actual fur as well. So you can say that you've got, again, it's just difference of colour. Um, or the sun shining on it, it might be the sun shining on it, that kind of thing. So you can leave a few gaps here and there actually in the uh, in the fur as well. But I'm quite pleased with my bunny. I'm quite pleased with him. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are pleased with yours too. Um, tomorrow you will need uh, paper, paints, brushes and a water jar. You'll just need the, the normal. Um, you won't need anything special for tomorrow's watercolour session. Um, and it'll be, yeah, it'll be a fun one tomorrow. We're gonna, we're gonna be painting some fruit tomorrow. Uh, again, in a very kind of stylized way, so, um, so don't, don't panic. <laughs> you're panicking about painting fruit. Um, oh, mum said she likes chocolate bunnies. Yeah, I must admit, I, I think I prefer chocolate bunnies to, uh, to this bunny. But I think he's quite cute as well. Quite like him. 
Don't forget to post below any pictures that you've got um, of your of your fluffy bunnies. Don't forget to get your soft chalks um, or your soft pastels uh, for next week as well. That'll be very, very exciting. Can't wait to get started with those. Um, and look out for the launch of our membership group. So our, our arts community uh, online that's going to be a, a membership group. We're going to launch that on Monday. Um, so all the news and everything about it and all the details about it will all come out um, on Monday. See you guys tomorrow, Thursday tomorrow. See you tomorrow at 2pm. Have a very good rest of your day. See you soon.